Hello everyone, my name is Jill Ridlane and I am the Health Careers Public Health Outreach Coordinator for Central Oregon Community College. In this module, I'm going to walk you through and explore all of the different health career programs here at Central Oregon Community College. At the end of the module, there's a short quiz and after you successfully complete the quiz, you will receive a certificate for completion of the module. Many people may ask, why healthcare? Why go into a healthcare career? Well, we do have a few key points, and you've probably thought of these, some of these yourself. First of all, we have a diversity of career choices out there. There are almost 150 different allied health career possibilities. Secondly, a healthcare career often has higher starting salaries and a wealth of benefits compared to other careers with similar or even more education. There are unlimited opportunities of career growth in healthcare. You can start at one point, say as a phlebotomist in a lab, continue your education, become a registered nurse, continue your education further and become a nurse practitioner or a nurse educator. The career growth is amazing. Also, a real value that most healthcare workers have is the interest to give back to their community. They have a love of people, a love of humanity, and they want to be there to be helpful to others. And of course, our healthcare careers often have hands-on skills at the center of the career. Whether you're a nurse, a paramedic, um, working in a lab, working directly with patients, a vet tech, working with animals, you are very hands-on. And so healthcare careers lend themselves to people who don't just want to do the book work, that is of course involved, but also want to be hands-on in their job day to day. It's always great to get an understanding of what a community college like COCC can offer you as comparison to a university. There are some differences and some similarities. At a community college, we offer certificates and associate degrees. These can be a certificate that just takes one term or 12 weeks, all the way to an associate's degree that takes two to three years. It really depends on your career choice and your program. Universities typically offer undergraduate degrees or four-year degrees, as well as professional or graduate degrees, your master's degrees and your doctorates. Now, of course, there are certificate programs at universities. That is totally possible, but oftentimes they come at a little bit higher price point than a community college. Here at COCC, we are also excited um, to be looking at possibly the addition of a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree by 2026. So we may actually be offering one bachelor's degree at a community college level in coordination with other Oregon community colleges. But typically with us, you'll find your certificates and associate degrees. Many of our associate degrees, if you get an AAOT, are transfer degrees that will allow you to transfer all of your credits to another Oregon state institution. I have here some information on different types of clinical professions, and I've put them into four different categories, sort of for an ease of understanding. There's the medical pathway, a nursing pathway, diagnostic pathway, and then another category of just other specialties. Now, medical pathway is that pathway that takes you to becoming a medical doctor, either an MD or a DO, a doctor of osteopathy. In between, we have all kinds of places that you can start your pathway within medicine. You can start as a scribe, a certified medical assistant, EMT or paramedic, a physician's assistant, which is a master's degree, all the way to becoming a doctor. A very different pathway is a nursing pathway. Here we have your certified nursing assistant, your CNAs, there's the LPN, licensed practical, your registered nurse or RN, 
After becoming an RN, you can go forward, complete a master's degree and become a nurse practitioner or a nurse educator. And finally, if you want to teach nursing at a university level, we have a doctorate of nursing. We also have diagnostic pathways. Now, diagnostic essentially involves different types of modalities that help physicians diagnose what's wrong with a patient. You could have your phlebotomist who's drawing blood to do the blood work, EKG technicians to determine if, how the patient's heart is functioning, medical laboratory technicians, MLTs, and these people are actually those who are processing the labs, radiology technicians, sonography, MRI, all of these are imaging specialists that help in the diagnostic process. We have a medical laboratory technologist that's, or a medical laboratory specialist that's a bachelor's degree, and you can go on all the way in medical laboratory science to a master's degree. There are other diagnostic professions that I have not listed here, uh, audiologist, um, many other um, ophthalmologists, optometrists, of course, but just to know these are some basic takeaways to show you a different pathway you may have not considered. And many other specialties. Here we have our pharmacy technician, dental assistant, physical therapy assistant, occupational therapy, surgical assistant, dental hygienist, all the way up to doctorate degrees as a physical therapist, occupational therapist, pharmacist, dentist. Um, the list really is almost endless. This is where a lot of those 150 allied health specialties live are in this other specialty category. Here we have some information on the different helping professions. Now I've broken this out from purely clinical professions. This is more the side of behavioral health, although we do have clinicians that are working in the specialties. Some careers involving the helping professions include different types of counseling, such as family counseling, school counseling, um, addictions counseling. We also have social workers, case managers, um, many different types of public health specialists, psychologists, doctors of psychiatry, uh, psychiatric nurse practitioners, which is also clinical, and we have patient advocates. Different types of schooling you can go to to be able to enter a few of these careers. You can gain a certificate in community health worker or as a peer support specialist. Community health workers work with clinical staff to provide wraparound services for patients in the community. And peer support specialists work on that behavioral health side um, alongside addictions counselors and other types of mental health counselors to give support to patients. With an associate's degree, you can look at addictions counseling or even nursing. And your bachelor's degree, you can become a psychologist, sociologist, go into human services or different types of social work. Oftentimes, many of these helping profession careers, although not all, do require graduate school. In graduate school, you can become a licensed counselor, licensed social worker, school counseling, um, psychologist, obviously a psychiatrist is a doctor, is a medical doctor, as well as psychiatric nurse practitioner would have a graduate degree as a specialty. Here at COCC, we offer several different types of training certifications. The first one we have is just one term, or 12 weeks, and that is phlebotomy. Phlebotomists are those who actually are drawing blood and performing different types of labs to send into the medical laboratory specialist for diagnosing. We also have a certified nursing assistant certification. That's only one term as well. And you can become a CNA in the state of Oregon in just a few weeks, essentially. This will help you start out that bedside nursing experience while you consider if you want to go further in nursing. We have a community health worker certification that's in our public health department. This is also only one term, it's only one course. And with this course, you actually achieve an Oregon Health Authority certification so you can work as a certified community health worker in the community. 
We also have an emergency medical technician or EMT. This takes two terms or six months. As an EMT, this will start you out on that pathway if you're interested in becoming a paramedic. These are short. They have few to no prerequisite courses or classes you need to take beforehand. And as it says here, a great way to get experience in healthcare. Here is a COCC video that showcases our emergency medical technician and paramedic programs. Please watch. These are some great takeaways for you to gain a better understanding of the depth of our programs. COCC also has one-year certificates of completion. Here we have dental assisting, medical assisting, and pharmacy technician. Now, dental assisting and medical assisting are full one-year programs. Our pharmacy technician actually has been reduced down to six months, so we can actually help you become a pharmacy technician in just two terms. We also have a new one-year certificate of completion, and that is going to be in our public health program for community health worker. This is a wonderful new program that I encourage you to check out on our COCC Health Careers website and the public health website. We also have programs that offer degrees and certificates in one to two years. The first one is our licensed massage therapy or LMT. They give you two different options. You can start with a certificate of completion in four to five terms, which is a year to year and a half. And upon the certificate of completion, you actually have all the knowledge you need to complete and successfully pass your licensed massage therapy exam for the state of Oregon. So in just a little more than one year, you can become a licensed massage therapist. You can continue on if you wish and use those credits towards an associate's degree in massage therapy. This is the only associate's degree in licensed massage therapy of its kind in Oregon. We also have a health information management course. This program is the business side of medicine and is 100% online. Within the program, we have a certificate of completion. It's a medical office specialist, and soon we will also be adding billing and coding. This one-year certificate is an excellent way to start your career in medical office administration. You can continue on with your associate's degree and from there even go further to a bachelor's or master's in healthcare management. This is a very growing field and it's very well paying. Central Oregon Community College also has Associate of Applied Science degrees. These three health career degrees are actually ones that are selective. First off is our registered nursing program. You do have one to two years of prerequisites to complete prior to applying to the nursing school. Upon being received into the nursing school, you will then have to complete two more years in the program to become a registered nurse. Our veterinary technician program has two to three terms of prerequisites, less than a year, and once you enter the veterinary technician program, you have two more years for completion. Our paramedic program has one to two years of prerequisites. These are mostly found in your EMT that you've already completed, and then you'll have one more year of the program to become a paramedic. These courses are selective. We typically have two to three times as many students apply as we have seats in the course. So we always encourage you to talk with your advisor and determine your best course of action to make sure you have all the classes necessary and you are competitive when you apply to the programs. I've included a video in our veterinary technician program that I think you'll enjoy. We'll give you a more in-depth idea of what our vet tech program has to offer, where it is offered, and what you have to look forward to. After you finish this video, you will see that there are several quiz slides for you to answer prior to receiving your certification for this module.
If you have any questions about our programs in health careers at COCC, please feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. I'm happy to actually have an appointment with you, take you on a tour, and help you learn more about our programs. Thank you so much.